Hi, I'm Courtney. I'm with the Clean Daily Herald, and I'm with Jeannie Parker, who is running for Judge of Bell County Court at Law Number One. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. What do you consider to be the primary job duties of a judge in Bell County? As a judge in Bell County, I think you have to be able to uh, run a docket run the courtroom and make it run smoothly and make sure everybody gets taken care of. Everybody wants their day in court and they don't want it to, to have to wait too long or for it to take too long to get there. So I think keeping your dockets running and keeping you know as business as usual going as opposed to getting a bunch of cases set that can't be heard and, and time, time is important to everybody these days. What qualifies you for the job? I've been practicing law in Bell County. I, I went to Baylor Law School, go Bears, and to, came down here uh, right after that. My first job was in Bell County. It wasn't too long, maybe a year, I was with the county attorney's office being a prosecutor. I started with misdemeanors, did that for about a year, and then I was in charge of the uh, juvenile section, which is felonies and misdemeanors for the juvenile section, and I ran that section. I was chief for about almost nine years. I went to, after that, I was very fortunate to go to Afghanistan and I spent a year and a half over there writing laws for the State Department. And they wanted pro a prosecutor to write laws and help the police get their laws written. And they asked me to extend after the first year and I worked with the European Union that had just come into country because I had worked with so many people over there and helped them kind of get established. And then I came home, it was time to come home and I was glad to come back. When I got back, uh, they asked me to work uh, they, one of the county attorney assistants were leaving, but as it turned out, his house didn't sell, so he didn't go. So I waited, and finally, uh, I went to Atlanta. I worked there for a very brief time, maybe six months, uh, with the DA down there. And then they, my old boss, Rick Miller, called me back and said, would I come back and work for the county? They had an opening, and I said, sure. He said, wait a minute. He said, it's with CPS. You'll be representing the CPS docket. I went, oh, man, because those are such sad cases. But I've been representing CPS cases uh, for almost a little over four years now. And in saying all that, I'm trying to explain that I do have a lot of uh, experience. I have civil experience. I have criminal experience. I have uh, experience with felonies and misdemeanors. I have very broad amount of experience. Also, I uh, have a huge trial docket. I try more cases probably than any attorney in Bell County and do lots and lots of, of civil cases and, well, they're quasi-civil cases with the um, CPS department, so I have a vast amount of courtroom experience. I'm in the courtroom all the time. And what sets you apart from your opponent? I think it, it boils down to the courtroom experience. I know how a court works. I know what Bell County wants in a judge. I know what the attorneys want, what the people want, what they expect in a judge. I know what uh, has always been in Bell County for the last 20 years, and it is important to keep it. It's been such a good bar to work in with the attorneys and the judges that are there now. It's been a very uh, very congenial group of people that can work together. It's not mean or, or litigious in the way that some of the larger bars are, like in Houston or Dallas, where they can get very competitive. It's always been very good here, but a large part of that is to the judges that don't allow the attorneys to come in there and get to be too... Um, oh, let's say mean or malicious to each other. It's not that kind of a bar situation where, that we have here. And being with it and being in it and being a part of it for so many years, I know how to keep it that way and to make it go on as we've all enjoyed it and not let it change to be something that we, we don't want, which is a, a big city type situation in a great small town. If elected, what would you bring to the job? Well, besides the experience, I would bring uh, a very I have a very good disposition. I don't hold grudges. I don't generally get real mad, and if I do, you don't generally know it. I have the type of, of disposition that uh, I think I could control a courtroom quite well without being um, mean about doing it, but you have to be able to have the kind of, of attitude that can be fair and good to everybody that comes in the court, no matter who they are, no matter what your last experience with them in the court was, that they can come in there and the attorneys and the clients can feel like they've had a fair and a good day in court. They may not agree with the decision, but they will know that it was done fairly and it was done justly and they won't feel like they didn't have a chance when they walked in the door. And is there anything else that you'd like to say to voters before they head to the polls? Well, I'd like to ask them to vote for me. I feel like I would make the best judge out of the, out of the two of us in this race only because I have so much more experience. He has a, uh, my opponent has a 
vast resume, which a lot of people in private practice do, but uh, it doesn't translate into the kind of experience on the ground in the trenches with the people of Bell County like I have, and I would enjoy being the judge that they need to have in this time. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to come down and talk to us. Well, thank you for taking your time with me. I appreciate it very much.